What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com. I'm here at the App Nation San Francisco conference in San Francisco, California. Uh, day one, things just getting started, people waking up, getting the booth set up, general sessions going on behind me and everything. But I'm over here at the Samsung mobile stand where um, I got my hands on the Galaxy S Player. Uh, this has been launched already, has not shipped yet. Uh, ship date is imminent, I was told, but I have not actually seen this one in person. It's um, a five inch display, and it's basically, you know, it's a, it's a uh, Android based multimedia player. This is running gingerbread with uh, Samsung's TouchWiz interface over it. Uh, it's not a cell phone, it's Wi Fi only. And you've got the TouchWiz UI, and you know basically the stuff that you've seen on the uh, the new line of the Samsung S gingerbread devices. You can see it's got the Galaxy S logo on the back there, uh, but it's got a larger screen, and so kind of an interesting device because you can see it here next to the Galaxy S2, uh, and the five-inch display, you know, really makes it feel kind of like a mini tablet, which it is, uh, larger than something. Uh, certainly, you know, next to the Galaxy S here, but lar much larger than something like an iPod Touch, which would be one of its main competitors. Uh, and then also, of course, there are a bunch of um, Android-based personal media players out there on the market. But you've got, you know, what you'd expect from the device, the, the, uh, the Google apps, the Samsung apps. If we go into the applications here, we'll take a look at uh, the screen. We'll go to gallery. And, you know, really, uh, the screen just really pops in person, very vivid. Obviously, it's got the auto-rotate, all that stuff you'd expect. Uh, very speedy, very responsive. And I don't know if this is coming through on the camera, and I just have my little Sony bloggy camera with me today, but, uh, I mean, this, this, um, this image of the trees here just really pops. You know, obviously, they're going to pick out the images to show off the display capabilities, but uh, definitely really pops. On the bottom, you've got, you know, just three buttons, two capacitive touch buttons here. Uh, the menu button, the back button, and then one physical button for home. Uh, if we go to videos, get a look at a video here. On the side, you know, nothing on the sides there. On the other side, you've got the the power switch and the uh, the up down rocker switch for volume. Micro SD card slot on the top microphone and um, headphone jack on the bottom so ostensibly you could use this for for VoIP applications uh, you know Skype that kind of stuff on the back there's your camera we'll get the full specs we'll put them down in the uh, subtitles of the video for you but uh, really you know you can see again I don't know if it's coming through in the video but kind of the 3d effect here it's not a 3d display obviously but the screen just super rich uh, motion is you know very little blur looks really nice um, and it's very thin. So interesting offering from Samsung. Again, we hear this is uh, the launch of this is eminent, imminent rather, and um, be interesting to see if this thing takes off, you know, in the U.S. globally as something like an iPod Touch competitor. Um, and now I'm looking at the UI and thinking about how Samsung and Apple are suing each other. But that's a story for another day. With the Galaxy S Player, the five-inch Wi-Fi only Android device from Samsung. I'm at the Samsung mobile stand at App Nation, San Francisco, 2011. Much, much more on technobuffalo.com. Yeah.